For those of you who aren't familiar with World of Warcraft, here's a short tutorial. So when you get into the computer lab, log in with your student accounts, find the World of Warcraft icon, double click on it. That'll start the launcher. Now if it needs to update, it'll do that first, so be patient. But if the play button turns red, you can click on it and start playing. So once the game launches, we're going to sign in with our classroom accounts, classroom accounts only, um, and using the password that I gave you in class. Once it connects, remember this is a shared account. Both classes are going to be using this account, so you create your character. They'll create theirs, and let's not mess with each other's characters. So you get the choices of the races, either Alliance or Horde, male or female, and the different classes. So hopefully by now you have chosen. So let's say you wanted to play a goblin uh, male. I'm going to choose a goblin male, and maybe you wanted him to be a mage. So I'll choose mage, and then I click on Customize. First, name your character with the name you chose. Now there's a randomize down here, so you can have World of Warcraft pick a name for you, but it's better to give the character your own name, name that you chose for him. Like Murloc, maybe. Murlocian, because Murloc is probably taken. Then you click on the different attributes and you choose what you want. You're going to make your character uh, look as unique as you can. You can turn him around or her around to see the different features. Like if you pick different hairstyles, you can see it from the front or the back. And of course you can also randomize your character, but that isn't as fun as uh, making him yourself. But once you do that, go ahead and finish and your character is ready to start playing. So see Merlockian, level 1 mage in uh, the realm of, well we're going to be on Sisters of Elune. And then you enter world to play your character. Now, if you've got a group of people who are starting the same character, you guys can help each other out, work together, uh, especially those of you who've never played before. But basically you're gonna get quests from quest givers and complete those quests so you can gain experience points and level up. Uh, quest givers, you'll find them by finding people with exclamation points over their head. And when you, let's see, I think it's right click on them, they will tell you what it is you need to do and accept the quests, um, as many quests as there are, and then go out and complete them. And we'll do that. If you do that in groups, it'll be more fun. Of course, you'll be vying for the same uh, creatures or things you have to get. Now, it's going to start off with a story. Listen to the story, because that's going to provide you the background information on your character. And you'll be writing about your character's background and what got them interested in classifying living things. So pay attention to this story, and then find the people with the exclamation points and start questing. So the game usually starts you right near a quest giver and the way you move is use your left hand or the W key moves you forward, S key moves you back, A and D key move you sideways so you can turn and look, um, and then the mouse moves you. If you click and hold the uh, right click, you can turn, and you can also turn while, while moving. So while pushing down the W key, use the mouse uh, right click to move your character. Or you can also use the W, A, and D, but using the mouse gives you more control. Then you right click on a character and see, it tells you what the quest is, gives you some story on the quest. Uh, gives you the quest objective and what rewards you'll receive for completing the quest. This one gives us 10 experience points. So I accept that one. And then I'm going to turn around and head on out to start doing it. Oh, and the space bar uh, 
makes you jump. Now down here are uh, skills and abilities that you will need to complete the quest, like a mage. I have a frost fire bolt that launches a bolt causing 22.5 damage. Um, and that's how I attack. And I'm a mage, so I want to attack from a distance. I don't want to be up close because I have cloth armor and I'll lose a lot of hit points real easily and die a lot. Now the guy with the question mark over his head are usually where you go to complete a quest. So you walk up and you gotta be close enough to right click and then he goes, taking care of business, um, everything's going great, yeah, what's this? I'm gonna continue, give him what Sassy gave me um, and receive my experience. And look, he has a question mark because he has two quests uh, for me to do. That's how easy it is to start, so let's get out there and start playing.